I may be done with Poshmark or definitely done with using USPS as a mail carrier. If you want to hear my story, stay tuned. Hi, my name is Andrea. This is a little different type of video. Um, welcome to my channel. I hope you learn a little something from this video and I wonder if it's happened to you as well. Again, uh, thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave today. I am a thrifter and I'm a reseller, especially handbags. So I find good deals. I resell them on Poshmark and Mercari. And I sold a purse, which is the, I'll put, pop up a picture over here of my Coach Rowan multicolor purse. I sold it and uh, it sold through Poshmark. And that sale happened January 27th. Filming today is February 15th and this is not resolved. There'll be a part two. <laughs> But back to, she bought the bag, I shipped it the 30th of January. This bag was literally going two and a half to three hours away from where I live through USPS. So it shouldn't have took but maybe three days tops only because it's USPS. It made it to the hub where it would should have went to their local distributor it just stayed at this hub for a long time and then i uh on february 3rd put in a missing mail um for you know this bag that i had sent and february 3rd it said in transit and that's the last tracking that either the buyer got and what I got the ladies out of the bag I'm out of my money and my bag <laughs> she's out of her money and the, the bag she bought here it is February 15th I had contacted her and said I'm sorry I don't know why USPS uh, has the shipping I don't know why it's taking so long the delay and she said, thanks for, you know, reporting it. And usually when you report uh, something to USPS, they'll end up finding your package within a couple of days. And there has been no call from USPS. No, nothing. Usually they call you if you report that something is missing and they call you back. And But I got zero calls from USPS. So... I then reached out to Poshmark Support and the way they do it, you have to wait 10 days after the last tracking information and I was like, well, technically it was at this hub since the 31st, um, but I, they went off the February 3rd tracking and so I emailed them again, they told me to email this them back on the 13th of February. So I did, I said, there's still no movement movement in the package. And so I got a response again saying, oh, now you should wait till February 17th. What? <laughs> and at that point I was, I'm really getting irritated with Poshmark. Like what, what are we doing here? They've got to have a plan of action when stuff like this happens. I mean, they're the one, the platform that I used and I have no other choice through Poshmark but to use USPS. So it's on, you know, them also to walk me and the buyer through any support. And I'm basically getting blown off and they're like, well, there's a lot of delays in USPS right now. It's not Christmas time. It's way after you know it, it's where's the package <laughs> and uh 
so I emailed them back. I said, no, you told me February 13th, 10 days. And that's their policy, 10 days after the tracking stops. And then now they're pushing it. I, at this point, uh, the buyer of the Coach Rowan also wanted to cancel the order. Well, you can't cancel the order. It's already been shipped. Um, and so then that, at that point, Poshmark support popped in and said they are escalating this issue um, onto the escalation department, I guess, of Poshmark. And they're really busy. So uh, now at this point, you know, she's irritated and I'm irritated. And we're not getting any answers. We're getting pushed away and say, you'll receive an email regarding this escalation. And that was two days ago. I still haven't got an email. I don't know if she has as the buyer, but I'm about to, you know, using Poshmark, they have to have some kind of policy where a lost or stolen package happens. So now, you know, I'm me and her are waiting and it's now the February 15th. And she literally lives like three hours away from me. And when those packages go to that location, they get them within two days, typically. <laughs> so I, I have packages going to Massachusetts, to New York, all over. And sometimes California, those take, those take longer. That makes sense. And they have always gotten there. But I find it really odd that I saw it stop at this hub and it just stopped. The tracking stopped. So a little frustrated. Uh, there will be a part two because I'm not letting this go and neither should the buyer and I doubt she'll let it go because we're both, you know, out. I'm out of bag. She's out her money for the bag. <laughs> I'm out of the, the earnings that I get from, you know, the sale. So I will have another clip added to this with the results and hopefully they're not terrible results and if this happens to you then you'll know the proper steps but I've never had uh, this happen with a lost package. Uh, I may consider not doing Poshmark anymore because I believe that I trust UPS more than USPS lately. And uh, that is uh, the first part of the lost or stolen in transit. And I'll just add on to this clip right here. Hey, this is part two conclusion of this Poshmark USPS debacle that I just told you about. Well, three or four days later, Sunday, the February 25th, I finally got an email from Poshmark Support. So, the, in the email, it basically says, unfortunately, your package stopped tracking. They believe the mail carrier lost your package. And so, uh, unfortunately, you know, the buyer didn't get the coach bag and I am out the bag so they, what they do is they put my earnings into my account and they refunded the buyer. So they did do everything the way they should because that's, you know, a protection against the buyer and the seller. So I commend Poshmark support for finally resolving this issue because I was about to pull all my listings off of there if there hadn't been a resolution, but I am happy. And they realized um, how customer service is important and I'm so happy about the results. Um, I've heard stories that eventually your bag may end up back in your mailbox. Um, maybe it'll get to the, the buyer, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not out any money. She's not out any money. So it's a happy ending, I guess. But I'm sure she's disappointed and wanted that coach bag. So anyway, that is the finish finale complete story. And 
the Poshmark earnings usually take two to three days to get into your checking account. So it's been a couple of days and then there was a holiday. I know that they will do what they say and I still have the email because you always keep all your emails and re records of communications because you never know when you're going to need them. <laughs> I hope this helps if you're buying and selling on Poshmark. They will credit you back your earnings if you're the seller and they will refund you if you were the buyer. So it is a good ending. Not a horror, you know, negative story on Poshmark. However, I might consider not using USPS as much. Uh, I may consider switching to UPS. I don't know if Poshmark has that option. I don't think they do. But I know Mercari, you get to choose your shipping. Shipping agent, shipping like FedEx, USPS, and UPS. I know that I'm covered at least if something like this happens again or has this happened to you with USPS losing your package or what if you are selling on Poshmark or buying on Poshmark if this has happened to you let me know down below and if you like this video hit the thumbs up subscribe it's free and uh, comment down below uh, what your if you have any of this happen to you, I want to know. <laughs> and if your outcome was good like mine, because I'm really happy about that. So that is the finale and uh, conclusion of this debacle. And uh, I appreciate all of you for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.